Welcome to the video with this little demonstration of our tab chaser section in the MA3 template show file. In this video, we want to explain you the section in detail and provide you also some ideas on how to work with the powerful QRecipe function in MA3, even if you are not working with our template show file. Before we start, please note that the tab chasers are fully available uh, from show file version 1.2.8 and above. So make sure you're using this latest version. The basic idea of tap chasers is to provide a set of chasers and delay sweeps that can be easily selected via this layout view and then manually tap to the beat and adjust it by an executor section. For each fixture category, you will find two different colored sections. The white ones are based on simple chaser steps and the purple ones are initially built with some delay sweeps. Both categories are using the MA3 recipe function. By selecting a tap chaser in the layout view, the corresponding sequence on your hardware layout, so uh, on your executor, will change. This means you will have always a quick access on different uh, chasers um, with your hardware layout and you can simply select the content by using the layout view. So uh, at this moment we have uh, spot tab 1 selected and we can now just select different ones like spot tab 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. So that's the basic principle. And independence of your uh, selected hardware layout for a command wing or a console with more executors, you can vary um, the layout uh, between uh, a setup where you got only one common executor for all your five uh, fixture categories or five executors each for one fixture category with the corresponding tabs in there. Okay, so now let us have a closer look at this uh, and therefore bring back in capture again. We have still selected our tab chaser number six for the spots, which is a purple one. Uh, so it will give us a um, uh, delay sweep uh, for the spots. And we can simply trigger this by pressing the corresponding go button on our executor section like this. It is important to know that we can now manipulate the, the look of this effect by simply uh, raising or decreasing this uh, corresponding master. So if we move this down to about 50%, we will get a uh, reduced amount of this effect. If we move it down to zero, there will be no uh, effect at all. And if we bring it up to 100%, we will get the full delay sweep here. After we have understood this simple principle, we can then move on with different ones. So we have the one delay sweep uh, starting from the center. Then we have another one uh, moving from the bottom to the top. A third one uh, starting in the, in the center of the rig and doing like a, a circled wave. Uh, the fourth one is giving us two horizontal lines in this rig. And the last one is giving us some uh, vertical lines. So a center line and two outside lines. So to further modify your delays, there is now also a new uh, speed group master added to the show file, which is called delay speed. And you can use this to manipulate the speed. So the timing of your delays. So now it is really fast with, with uh, 131 BPM and we can just bring this down to maybe let's say uh, around about the half of it and this will give you a much slower variant of this delay sweep. And if we now increase it again, it's fast. After this, uh, let us also have a, a closer look at the white ones. So the white ones are those basic chasers, uh, probably everybody does. So in the first place, we have a simple odd even chase. Then we have some kind of a four step version of it. We have a, a left to right uh, chaser, maybe good to play along with your audience. An up and down chaser with the rig also in two steps and the corresponding up and down version with a, a, a less with some less lamps and uh, also a four step uh, behavior. So that's basically it. And now we will show you how you can adapt those by simply using the MA3 uh, recipes because it's maybe necessary that you adapt them according to your stage layout 
but uh, for sure as we're using those recipes they will be there in your show file independent uh, from your uh, fixtures and they will work initially maybe you have just set up them to get uh, the most out of them and the perfect look for your stage so to edit those tap chasers we have to uh, move over to our sequence uh, section and for uh, the purpose of this video we will edit uh, our spot sequences so we will uh, simply start with this first tap chaser uh, which is the odd even one and we use the swipe command to get into the edit menu of the sequence as you can see there are two cues in the sequence which makes sense because we have a two-step chaser and both of the, uh, those two cues consists uh, consist of two uh, recipes so this is there to ensure that we can always select the odds and get them at 100% and the evens to 0% intensity for the first step. And in the second step, uh, and so the second queue, we do this vice versa, which you can see here. So if I jump between them, you see what's happening there. So those recipes are giving you basically the option to select the group. In our case, this is the uh, spot all Simric group. Um, this comes in handy because we have set up the selection grid here. Um, which will help us to apply the matrix in a symmetrical pattern. Then we basically select a value which we want to apply. So this is just a, a simple preset from our preset pool. And we use now the demo off and demo on preset uh, in the demo preset pool. And then we also apply a corresponding matrix pool object, which will then give us the odd even selection. That we are using this matrix pool objects can also be recognized by those signs uh, for those numbers here. So if there is only a number, uh, for example, a two for the X group, then this value is directly edited like this in this uh, Q recipe editor. If it is marked by a sign, then it is applied and uh, coming from the corresponding matrix pool object. We are using basically most of the time matrix pool objects for those tap chasers because uh, at the moment there is no possibility to enter the index value for an matrix selection directly in this editor. So at the moment this one here where you can set the, uh, set the selection index is missing. That is the reason for uh, we are using those pool objects to get the selection like x at 0, x at 1 for our odds and our evens. So if you now feel like uh, you want to edit those uh, tap chasers, um, you can simply do this by either ed editing or changing the groups by adding uh, different values here or by simply uh, changing the matrix pool objects. Uh, or yeah, editing them or by manipulating the matrix settings right here in the editor. So there are many ways to do this. Uh, as a first example, we will rebuild this uh, simple odd even chaser, uh, which is working with intensities to an odd even color chase. So therefore we have to simply um, select this value and we don't want to use a dimmer anymore. We want to use, let's say red color for the first blue color for the second and for the other uh, preset we do it vice versa so we will use blue first and then red in the second step so this should give us an odd even red blue chase so let's close this editor move over to our um, show b section we select the first tap chaser and move uh, to capture and let's see what's happening if I press this chaser yeah and it's working as expected so you can really play along with them um, and yeah use them for whatever you want they're really flexible and can be a helpful tool for for any kind of show so after this first example of editing one of those tap chasers uh, let us do a second one so we select our uh, tap number three which is our uh, left to right tap 
And this is uh, a tab that you have to adapt if your fixture number changes because we have 12 fixtures in a row uh, here. This means we are using six as a block for this chaser. You can see this uh, if we move over to our sequence section again. So let us just open this. And here you can now see that we are using an M matrix pool object uh, with an X block of six. So we have named it in, in the way uh, what's the, the basic content of it and if you're now using for example a rig with eight fixtures only not 12 you should adapt this to an x block of four therefore we have um, set up a new part in the show file which can be found in this misc global section and under a matrix so here is the uh, used uh, a matrix pool object we just saw um, so x block 6 uh, and x1, x block 6. So you can see what they're doing here. So if you now feel like uh, having a different look or if you have a different rig, you should, should uh, simply edit them. This is possible directly in the editor. So for example, you can change this to 4. You should also name this then accordingly. Close it, edit, set this to 4. Also name it. And if you do it like this and we bring back in capture, this should now give us a different behavior. So in our case, this looks now a bit strange because it's not working anymore uh, as we have 12 fixtures. But if you imagine that you would have only eight of them, this would be a nice left to right for your rig. So this is the, the other option how you can edit this by editing those matrix pool objects. As a third example, we will also show um, the sequence content of such a delay sweep. So let us uh, use this last one, for example, where we get those uh, vertical lines. And therefore, we will bring out capture, move over to the corresponding sequence. And as you can see, we have now three recipes uh, per queue because we want to separate, uh, separate our 12 fixtures into those three lines, which requires three recipes to select uh, three different uh, variants of uh, X block 4 selection. So we have our left outer one with four fixtures, our center one with four fixtures, and then our uh, third one with the outer right four fixtures. And as you probably expect, the, the second queue is just putting uh, the demo on 100% for those outer ones, and the first one is doing this for the, the center one. We are applying a uh, fade to all of them directly here in the editor. Um, so a fade of um, uh, 0.25. Uh, and we are here now creating this delay sweep with 0.5 to 0. We are doing it in this way because we want the effect to run from the bottom to the top. If you uh, inverse this, so like 0 to uh, 0 0.5, you will get a different effect moving from the uh, top to the bottom. So you can just uh, change the direction by uh, uh, yeah, inverting those uh, settings here. If you want to uh, rebuild those uh, delay sweeps uh, or use more of them also for the first uh, initially uh, white colored um, tap chases, you have to keep in mind that you should uh, open the settings menu and edit this rate master to, delay, to the delay speed rate master. This will give you the control uh, by this master to define the delay speed uh, also live in the show file. And, and not by editing those values hidden here. If you are simply changing those values and the groups and also the matrix selection in here, everything should be fine. But if you are editing the presets or the groups and add new fixtures or new content to them, for example, if you're using all presets, then it might be necessary to cook the sequence. So cooking is a new uh, feature in MA3 related to those recipes, which will ensure that also if you are changing the, the content of those groups and presets, uh, all the uh, cues in here will look correctly and use the latest and newest um, values uh, from those recipes. Therefore, we have created a simple macro, which can be found in the macro section, uh, which is called setup tab. And this will uh, basically just uh, 
cook all the tab sequences accordingly. So keep that in mind if you're changing uh, things uh, for your groups or for example for the presets that you are using in those recipes. Last but not least for this video we want to show you another feature that is existing in the show file um, um, along with those tabs and this can be found in the macro section also. Therefore you have to move over to the macros for a certain fixture category. In our case we also use the spots. Here you can find macros which are called select a spot tab uh, one two three and so on and they are basically there to record custom uh, tabs to those uh, sequences. This comes in handy if uh, there's maybe no good way to achieve the change that you want by using a matrix and those recipes. Therefore you can simply select a chaser in here. So uh, we uh, select uh, the tab 5 and we say clear spot tab selected. This will simply clear uh, out the entire sequence and after this we can work on a new look. The first thing to do now is to simply set up the first step of your chaser. Uh, let us bring back in capture and we will now simply um, select all of our uh, spots. So in our case this will be uh, group number 1001 and we bring them at zero. After this, uh, we are maybe simply setting up uh, the matrix. Also to um, wings two, and yeah, that's basically it. We try it with wings two, and we say next to get a first selection, and we bring it at one hundred percent by using add add command and as you can see we have now selected the other ones and this should be our first step so we move over to the macros and simply say store spot tab selected after this we bring the lights at uh, zero again and we move over to the uh, command section here no i'm always not uh, finding it in this uh, on pc version this is horrible I use the next button to get the next selection using the edit command to bring it at 100%. And as you can see, we have now selected the next one. And we are also now simply using the store spot tab selected command. And we do it also a third time. So we bring them at zero. This time we will work it out and find the corresponding field here. Use next, bring them at 100%. Uh, move back say uh, store tab selected as you can see we have now the next one selected and uh, yeah that's basically it so it should be enough for an example so we clear our programmer and we have recorded uh, just for your notice the, the uh, tab number five we will move over to the show layout select the corresponding tab five bring that in capture and now tap it and as you can see it's just doing uh, this now in a, in a simple way with these three steps we've just recorded. So that is not a big magic, but it's a helpful tool, I think, uh, which will yeah, yeah, speed up your programming if you feel like adapting those uh, tabs maybe to your stage layout and doing some special things with them. And it might be also faster than uh, adapting the, the MA trick settings if you are uh, not looking for those really basic looks like the odd even one. Along with these little help macros to uh, record those manually built uh, tap chasers, there are also help macros which will allow you to uh, simply edit the corresponding executor and execute a page for a certain uh, tap. Uh, of a fixture category. So for example we have our spot tabs now at executor number 206 and we want to bring them at executor number 207 so therefore we simply hit this macro up there this will bring you a dialog and we will set 207 uh, confirm this and after that we can now use this new executor after we have selected once this uh, new tab. So as you can see, we have it now on this uh, executor number 207. 
So this is a, a helpful tool again if you want to maybe restructure your hardware layout. So to sum it up for the end of this video, there are basically two ways of working with our tap chasers. So we have the first one, which is based on the initial approach in the show file by using the MA3Q recipes. And the other one is by manually recording those steps uh, together with these little help macros that are provided within the show file. So we hope you liked the video and you like our tap chaser section. And uh, the next video will be all about our ColorFX engine and an update for the Color Picker plugin. So stay tuned for this and see you in some weeks.